Hello Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and North Node sign. This is going to be a Twin Flame reading for the sign of Aquarius. So in case you are not in a Twin Flame connection, this may not be a reading for you. Let's see how Aquarius is viewing their connection with their Twin Flame, please. Let's see. King of Swords, your own card, Aquarius. Queen of Wands. Let's get one more card. One more card, please, for the sign of Aquarius. Eight of Wands. I see, to be honest, <clears throat> with the Seven of Wands and Eight of Cups in the bottom of the deck, Aquarius, I see that uh, interesting. I don't feel this Queen of Wands is your twin flame. With the Seven of uh, Wands and Eight of Cups, I see you moving away from something or somebody and communicating that. Right? But let's keep going. Let's see how Aquarius's twin flame is viewing this connection, please. How Aquarius's twin flame is viewing this connection. What's in their mind space? Let's see. Right, here is your twin flame. Queen of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. Let's get one more card. One more card, please, for the sign of Aquarius. Six of Cups. I see Aquarius. Definitely, I had my doubts, actually, but definitely I see now at this time you are walking away from something or somebody with the Eight of Cups there and Seven of Wands and you are being communicative about it. Uh, as for your Twin Flame, I, I see it, uh, I see actually they are being in quite a good energies. They see, uh, they see this connection as stable with Ten of Coins here. I see you being um, actually communicative between each other. I see them, uh, they feel very connected to you, They for sure they know what this connection is, right, and uh, uh, I see actually a lot of communication between you two as well, so in case Aquarius you are not in the uh, in the open communication with your twin flame, probably it's not your reading, because I see these two people, these two twin flames, Queen of Swords and King of Swords could be dealing with another air sign, uh, Libra, another Aquarius or Gemini, I see you uh, actually with the three of uh, with the three of coins on the bottom of this deck, uh, I see you both being communicative uh, and trying to build something together here. So, uh, but I see your mind right now. Your mind right now is really busy with another situation that you are leaving. Something that wasn't serving you. Something that was uh, something that you feel defensive towards. Maybe it's a person or a situation, could be anything, right? But let's keep going. Let's see how Aquarius feels about their twin flame, please, at this time. How Aquarius feels about their twin flame, please. What's in their heart space? Six of 
Seven of Wands, Four of Wands. Let's get one more card. I see Aquarius that there is a need for you to kind of fight for this connection or, or there is some kind of conflict around you. I the sim very similar energies. Well, actually, I think in Gemini's reading, uh, maybe try and see that one. It's kind of similar. Maybe there is a message for you in that in that reading too. Seven of Cups here. Yes, I see. With strength here in the bottom of the deck, I see that. Uh, you are trying to, to build a, a stable foundation for you and your twin flame here, but you don't know how. With seven of uh, cups here and seven of wands, I see that uh, to do that, and with the strength here on the bottom of the deck, I see that you have to be strong through something. There is some kind of obstacle. Maybe people um, are trying to talk you out of this, or maybe there are some circumstances that you have to overcome and you're trying to understand how to do that. It's scattering your energy a little bit. I see you a little bit actually withdrawn, um, a little bit, uh, you know, from this connection with your twin flame. However, I see you uh, with this four of ones here. I, I see that, yes, that this is what you want. You're very clear on what you want. But I also see a lot of uh, outside obstacles and circumstances, maybe people, maybe uh, family work, friends, you know, this kind of thing. Something on, something is on the way, definitely. Something is on the way. And in the, in the first position here, I saw you trying to leave something behind. And, uh, and this takes a lot of your energy at this time, I feel like. Let's see what's in their heart space for you. Page of Wands, Death. Let's get one more card. Right. Oh, Aquarius. Uh, here with the with the Three of Swords and the Fool in the bottom of the deck, I feel like. I feel like Aquarius, uh, your twin flame, a little bit losing patience here, right? Uh, they're a little bit uh, similar energy to also Libra's reading I just had. <clears throat> uh, a little bit, um, I'm just trying to, to find the right words for that. They, of course, they have a lot of love for you. It's very clear. It's very obvious. Uh, they have a lot of love for you and they have a lot of um, curiosity towards this connection. Uh, a lot of, you know, this this uh, this feeling like where it's going to go, where it's going to take us, right? Uh, in the same time, could be dealing with uh, somebody with heavy Scorpio on their chart. It's the first major arcana card here. Mm. In the same time, I feel like uh, these obstacles that you have probably um, are placing your twin flame also in the in this kind of energy, like um, with with the three of swords here on the bottom of the deck. It's heartbreaking for them to see what's going on. It could be for different reasons for different uh, for, for all of you, but they see you going through the trouble. And it's heartbreaking for them, but in the same time, it is, with the death here, I do not see them trying to end this or whatever, that's not what I see. I see that it's been very transformative for them. But this kind of energy is always heavy. It's always heavy. It's always uh, kind of heartbreaking. However, I don't see them giving up or whatsoever on this connection. I see them still prepared to take a leap of faith with you, with the fool and with the... Um, Sorry, with the Ace of Cups. Here I see them completely prepared to do that. But also I see that... Uh, I see that they, they are taking this very, very heavily, whatever is going on in your life. Right? 
Uh, but let's see. Let's see what actions is this person going to take towards Aquarius in this connection? What actions Aquarius's twin flame is going to take with regards to this connection? Let's see. High Priestess. Seven of Cups, here we go. They start mirroring you, aren't they? Let's get one more card. One more card, please. Two cards wanted to come out. Oh my goodness. Ten of Swords and the Sun. Let's see what actions Aquarius is going to take towards this connection with their twin flame, please. What actions Aquarius is going to take towards this connection? Seven of Swords, Six of Wands. Let's get one more card. One more card here, please, for Aquarius's actions. Right. And here on the bottom of the deck we see Six of Cups and the world. Right. So this is what's happening here, guys. You are getting a little bit out of alignment, I see. Uh, because of the because of whatever you're going through, your energy is being scattered here with the seven of cups, and they are immediately mirroring this energy right back with the seven of cups on their end and high priestess, and also the ten of swords and the sun. I see your twin flame is going to be. They are going through a very very difficult uh, cycle. There, while you are away, busy dealing with the outside things, which you have to deal with. I'm not telling you drop everything and, you know, it's not what I'm saying. But I'm saying that, what I'm saying is that uh, uh, this particular situation definitely affects them in a way that they will be, uh, the, the, the initial balance that I've seen in the beginning of this reading, with ten of uh, coins and six of cups, they're going to be knocked of this balance uh, for a while with the high priestess here and the sun on one side and uh, ten of swords and seven of cups on the other side I see them going a little bit back and forth between the, the very scattered energy uh, and hurt because they uh, definitely they may think that you are you know pulling away from this connection for some whatever reason right Uh, and this this will put them in a little bit of scattered energy. Maybe uh, some fears will resurface within this person. But I see them fighting this, right? With all this major arcana here, the death and the sun and high priestess, I see them connected. I, they are very connected to their intuition, to be honest. And I see them fighting this. With the death here, I see that this was actually bound to happen as well. This was bound to happen. This is the experience that they had to have with you. Uh, on your part here, I see you, yes, coming out of this of this difficult situation of yours. Uh, with the Seven of Swords, I'm not sure. It like, looks like you're... Uh, I'm getting like, you know, got away in the last moment. But I see you quite uh, quite victorious about it, and, and I see you going towards your twin flame here with the good news. This is how it feels to me. I see, and also uh, with the Six of Cups and the World uh, here in the bottom of the deck, I see that both of you are preparing to enter a new cycle within this relationship. It's, it's not, the old cycle is not done yet. I, th I think that exactly what's going on here, you are both in the middle of ending the old cycle, which is always very uh, transformative, kind of difficult, kind of uh, scattered, 
energy, it triggers a lot of hurts, a lot of past traumas, and this is what's going on exactly on this person's part. And so whatever you go, you're going through, uh, you're supposed to go through this, right? You're supposed to go through this in order to finish the old cycle for yourself and within this connection also. And they are supposed to, to witness you going through this and they're supposed to go through this with you because this is what I see is happening. Uh, they, are aware, uh, they are aware of what's going on and uh, they're going through this with you and it, it triggers a lot, of, uh, a lot of issues within this person that have to be uh, addressed. I, I Actually, I do see them addressing that. I do see them ad addressing that with the um, High Priestess and the Sun here, right? But uh, this person will have a lot to, uh, to work on. They will have a lot to work on. So, um, uh, this is what I have for you guys, and I hope this helped in some way, and I hope to see you again. Bye, Aquarius.